people think about Hanford, they think about a dry, desolate landscape, sprinkled with industrial facilities, perhaps some buried waste sites, but that's about it. In my work, I think about what the public can't see, the sand, gravel, and water beneath the site, called groundwater. For decades, water, chemicals, and radiological contaminants seeped into this underground formation and have created an environmental remediation challenge. Volatile organic compounds like carbon tetrachloride leached into and percolated through the soil and groundwater. The contamination that resulted from this constant seepage threatens not just the central plateau where plutonium was processed, but the entire Hanford site and potentially the Columbia River. The good news is we can fix this. Thanks to the state-of-the-art groundwater treatment system we're going to build right here, Hanford's long-term groundwater problem will be contained. Soil and groundwater contamination at Hanford is one of the most complex remediation challenges in the world. The total site covers 586 square miles, an area that could fit Mount Rainier National Park within its boundaries and still leave room for the cities of Seattle and Portland. Because of the nature of the plutonium processing that happened here, numerous contaminants were introduced to the soil and ground stream in a number of different places. Well, to rectify the situation, we're going to use a two-pronged strategy of plume containment and treatment. First, we're going to remove the groundwater contaminant sources to the extent practicable. And then second, we'll treat that extracted water and inject it back into the ground. Treated water is re-injected through wells around the plume. This ring of clean water will contain the contaminants and push them towards the extraction wells. This pump and treat system is the cornerstone to groundwater cleanup on the Central Plateau. Since 1994, temporary pump and treat operations have effectively slowed the flow of groundwater contamination across the site. And we reduced the most concentrated portion of the primary contaminant, carbon tetrachloride. Building on what's been learned from the interim pump and treat system, the new 200 West groundwater treatment plant will utilize five different technologies to remove all contaminants of concern. This will be one of the largest and most technically advanced treatment systems for groundwater contamination ever constructed for the U.S. Department of Energy. Close to three million gallons of water a day can be treated, a quantity comparable to that of a municipal supply for a community of 10,000 people. In terms of treatment stringency, specialized plant processes will be able to remove contaminants to the parts per billion level, improving the contaminated groundwater to better than drinking water quality. By year's end, 2011, the plant will go online. Then, over the next 25 years, it will complete its pump and treat mission, leaving a cleaned up aquifer for future generations. For years after, the wells will be monitored to ensure a clean aquifer. Thanks to ARA and stimulus funding, we're going to now be able to initiate the operation of this treatment facility sooner than originally planned. And that's important to us for three reasons. First is new jobs created. Second is the uh, positive impact to our local economy and businesses. Third, and most importantly, is we initiate the uh, groundwater contamination cleanup sooner than originally planned. Groundwater contamination is certainly not the only cleanup activity to be carried out on the Hanford site in the years ahead. But once the 200 West Groundwater Treatment Plant is completed and put into operation, it will be among the first long-term remedial solutions in place on the site. It's also very gratifying to me to know that we are implementing a long-lasting solution to groundwater contamination on our central plateau. Out of sight is not out of mind when it comes to soil and groundwater contamination at Hanford. Right now, below the surface, we know the picture is murky, but stable. Day by day, we're improving the situation, building an enduring cleanup remedy. 
When the 200 West Groundwater Treatment Plant goes online in the fall of 2011, the subsurface picture will grow clearer. And as time goes on, we can expect not just a clearer picture, but a safer and cleaner environment for future generations to treasure. It's not just a picture to imagine, it's a picture that's becoming a reality.